welcome back to my channel. This is Rhonda and welcome to Barbells and Beauty. Today we've got an empties video and Coco is moving my lights around. If you hear a noise in the background, it's because my cat Coco has decided to grace me with her presence while I'm filming a couple videos. If you recognize the look, it's just because that's on the video that I just got done filming. So, uh, yeah. So let's just get started here. Um, first off is this, because I've got uh, several empties, and they're a lot of mostly skincare. I'll just let you know that right now. But let's do this. It's the uh, is this the Lancome primer. It's just a little mini. Um, used it up. It's a nice primer. I've just found this one, the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer that I like better and um, is a hell of a lot cheaper. Uh, so, hello, why would I spend more money for a product that I don't like quite as well? I wouldn't, that's why. Uh, next up is this, the Benefit Yes They're Real. Um, I might buy it again in the future. Again, I've got a couple other mascaras that I like better that are a lot cheaper. Well, I'm not sure I like better. I like just as well. This one's like, I don't know, more than 20 bucks, I, th I think. I I'm not even sure how much this is. And the other mascaras that I like just as well are in the five and six dollar range. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I've got this, the Ciate Wonderland. It's okay. I got it in an Ipsy bag or birch box or I don't know, one of those boxy kind of things. It's nice. Probably not going to buy it. It's just okay. But hey, I used it and, you know, hey, whatever. Next is this, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I love this stuff. Um, I've already got a new one downstairs, so I will definitely be repurchasing this several times over because I really like this stuff. Really good. Okay, let's see. Let's get into skincare kind of stuff. Um, I got this. Is it Ole or Ole Henriksen Truth Serum? I don't know. Uh, I got a sample. I'm not even sure how I got this sample. Mm -hmm. uh, I used it up. It's a vitamin C serum. But wow, it has Ooh, smells like an orange is assaulting you. But I did like the way it worked. If it was probably about $5, $10 less expensive, I would probably buy this over the Drunk Elephant uh, C Serum because I think they're both about the same, but uh, why smell like an orange is assaulting me when I don't have to? Uh, like again, if it was about 10 bucks cheaper, I probably would buy this over the Drunk Elephant. Okay, let's see here. Next is this. Yes, the Philosophy Purity Cleanser. I know you can't see it because it's like empty. Uh, yes, I have already repurchased this. I got a great deal on QVC. They had like a smaller bottle that's a little actually bigger than this and then two big bottles. That's going to keep me in purity for a very long time. Check QVC out if you like philosophy stuff. They've got some good deals sometime. Uh, next is this. Again, you can't see it. It's a Josie Marin Argon Cleansing Oil. I will not be repurchasing this. This stuff is overpriced. I have found better oil cleansers that even that work better and are far less expensive than Josie Marin's overpriced Argon Oil. So, yeah. No. This one, the Pixie, God, all these things are so clear you can't see it. It's the Pixie Skin Tonic Glow Tonic. Again, I've already repurchased this. I really like this for my nighttime to uh, toner. Blah, 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 blah. Can't even talk. Um, it's really, really, really good and I like it a lot. Next is the Ordinary Argealing Serum. Again, I've already repurchased this. I really do think putting it on, especially, you know, these up here, I think it really does help. Um, and for the price, uh, you can't beat the price. I mean, the price is just uh, next to nothing. I love it. Then this is the Ordinary Buffet. I did repurchase it, but I don't think when that bottle runs out, I will be repurchasing it. Um, 
I have found that putting on separate serums uh, seem to be working a little better than putting on one that has, has a little bit of everything in it. Uh, seems to work better just on my skin. So um, when that new bottle that I purchased, and it's about half gone already, runs out, I don't think I will be repurchasing the buffet anymore. Next is this, the Sunday Riley Juno Oil. Um, I'm not going to repurchase this at this time. I'm trying out a couple new skin oils from a, a different website that are a little bit cheaper. Um, hold on, let me look at something. Okay, so I just looked it up. Yeah, this is $90, okay? And now I do have this small sample bottles that are of a pro two products that I'm trying out. Um, but the full size are $42 a piece. Um, and they're skin oils. I, I use one at night, one at uh, during the day under my makeup. So I can get two skin oils that have pretty much the same stuff as this for less than this cost. Yeah. Um, I will let you know in an upcoming video about those skin oils, how I like them, yada, yada, yada. And then lastly is, again, you can't hardly see it, but it is the Time Revolution Essence. Um, when I first got this, because I, I tried out the Korean 12-step, 10-step, 12-step, I guess it depends on who you're talking to, um, skincare routine, I've actually still incorporated quite a few um, of the products and steps in my skincare and my skin has not looked better. I mean, it looks amazing. And I was like, Essence Smashens, what the hell is Essence? Why am I using Essence? I don't know why I'm using Essence. And I used it for about a month, you know, because I was really into it. I was going to do all the steps. I was going to be a good girl, blah, 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 blah. Oh, look, it's starting to work. Yay. And then after about a month, I was like, fine, I kind of stopped using it. And my skin felt drier. And that is amazing considering it was in the middle of summer and I sweat like the devil, de Dickens, and I get oily and this stuff. Yeah, so I started, I was like, this is the, dropping this was the only thing that I did. So I started using it again and my skin just, it, it's, I love it. Uh, I love this stuff. Essence, Smashence, yeah, Essence! This stuff I love. Um, I will not go without it. And the last thing I have is this. That's right, the Wonder Brow. I mean, you can see, but this last little, but this is all like stuck on and down here it's kind of getting a little bit dried out and I can't get it out and it doesn't look good. This is the second one I have used up. I am on my third. I love this stuff. I alternate between this and some Benefit products. This stuff I love. Um, I kind of will use a little bit of, uh, just kind of half draw on at least a little hint of a shape. And I either use a little bit of Benefit or I use a little bit of this on just a little fine brush and just kind of brush in some hairs and it fills in my eyebrows beautifully. I do wish the red, this is the auburn color, uh, I do wish it was just a little hint bit, hint bit, bleh, more auburny in the color, but yeah, I really do like this stuff. I do. What can I say? So there you go, and my, my lava lamp is finally starting to do a little something something. I had it on two nights ago, and it was just working great, blah, 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 blah. Next time I come up to film a video, I'm going to try to remember to turn that stupid lava lamp on a good half hour before I come up, because I just, I, I'm, I know, I'm looking in my viewfinder, just come on, do something, lava lamp, do something. So those are the empties that I have for this go around. Maybe next time I will actually have like a makeup product that is empty or that I've at least hit pan on or something. I doubt it. I just keep buying more. <laughs> but I'll probably have some more skincare. Um, uh, so with that, I'm going to say peace, love, and take care of yourself. Spring is almost here. Get outside and walk. Bye-bye. <laughs>